Hey guys, I have um, with me today Kate Northup, and she is has just published her first book called Money, A Love Story, and I had the honor of, um, of reading it in advance, and it was an absolutely amazing book, and I saw so many similarities between my own personal um, money story uh, with Kate's, and so I wanted to bring her here today to help you, as I know um, financial freedom is a big thing, and it's something that we all strive for, and Kate's approach is so unique because it is a holistic approach, and we know that I have a holistic approach to the work that I do um, with weight loss and in life in general, so it all really goes hand in hand and lends itself very well, so I really wanted to bring Kate here today to speak to a few different things as to... Um, the uh, nature of this book, how it's written, and how it can help you. Wow. Um, so, Kate, thank you for being with us, and congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to know, why? what brought you to, book, to write this book now? Well, I really struggled um, with my own relationship with money, especially just paying attention to money. I just was really uh, in my early 20s when I was starting my business just totally in la-la land and kind of did a spiritual bypass where I just thought um, somebody else would take care of it for me or like if I just did enough affirmations, somehow it would all work out. And, um, <laughs> yeah, the manifesting, I'm just going to manifest some money. Yeah, and, and I think manifesting is amazing and I'm totally a practitioner of the law of attraction and all sorts of things, but it really needs to be combined with practical action. And so the book chronicles my own getting into $20,000 worth of debt, getting out of it, and how I did that, and then also the work that I do with other women, especially um, I work with a lot of women starting, helping them start businesses, and I noticed how tripped up they get about money as well, and so I knew it wasn't just a, like an issue that applied to me. Like I know, I can't even tell you the number of people who I tell the title of the book who say, oh, I need that, like without even knowing any more information, and so it's just such a cultural issue and so that's why I wanted to write this book because so many people struggle with money and I want to give them solutions because I did as well. Well and what I loved was not only is the solutions that you offer offer are very practical um, but you brought in a lot of different elements such as spirituality, women's empowerment, having a sense of faith um, and you even told your own story, which I found fascinating that um, tied in with when we clear up our financial um, our financial mess, we could say, our messiness yeah. and our ignorance of our financial standing and how that impacts our directly relates to our health, right, and our happiness and even finding love in our life and bringing all of these things in. And so when you do speak of, um, because I do work with all of my clients on weight loss and having, you know, health and um, health and well-being, right? It's for you, how do you see the connection? Oh, well, so if you're familiar with the, with the, with the body and the seven chakra system, every uh, energy center in the body has to do with a different area of our lives. And I actually just found an interesting statistic that 90% of all doctor's visits are related to stress. Like 90% of the reason that we, we show up in the doctor's office is stress. And one of the leading causes of stress is financial uh, disease. And so if we can clear up our financial health and well-being, so much of the physical stress we're experiencing, so much of our disease and ill health can actually clear up not only in the second chakra, which is the reproductive area, um, that's where I had my own health challenges, but just like headaches and, you know, skin eruptions and, you know, weight loss. Like I find that people, when they get it together financially, they lose weight because it's the stress, you know, and sometimes like if you can't pay the rent, it feels like a good idea to eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's, even though it's not, <laughs> and it doesn't help you pay the rent. But, um, so does that help? Does that answer your question? Okay. Well, and I often, um, talk and I actually just said in my last newsletter about like decluttering. Yes. And I really felt like a lot of, and the importance of decluttering our lives and our minds, right. And in all aspects from, from money to our closets, um, to our pantries, just different rooms in our houses to the negative thoughts that we, that we have. Yeah. So that's another aspect. So when you talked about empower, like women's empowerment that comes from that financial freedom and knowing your finances, yeah. you also, in essence, talked a lot about clearing up 
and, and decluttering our lives because you yourself went on the um, freedom tour and you sold all of your things and you left New York so courageous and you changed your life, you know, uh, drastically. And so what, what do you really see when you, when I say decluttering and, and what that means for you and in terms of financial freedom and in relation to health and weight loss and happiness? It's a great question. So to me, it really um, comes down to prioritizing our lives around what we value. Um, okay. Money is really just a stand in for what we value. And so money can best be used to spend towards things that we value. And so in our lives, and same thing with time, right? We have only so much time. And so in our lives, just in terms of setting great boundaries and things, like really looking at, and I'm doing a lot of this right now in my life, looking at what are my priorities over the next year and how can I weed out not only the spending decisions that aren't in alignment with those priorities, but also the time decisions, like saying no to things that actually are not in alignment with your values. So, you know, my values are relationships. They're definitely my physical health. Um, adventure, freedom. So those are like probably the four top ones. And so listening in, you want to identify what those values are. And I have some exercises to do that in the book and then spend in accordance with those things and declutter, like take out those spending categories that aren't in alignment with that. And, and it really like streamlines your financial life. Okay. That's perfect. So I know we have limited time and I did want to ask you one more question just so I could offer um, everybody that is interested in financial freedom, what would you say out of the amazing exercises that you have in this book? Because this essentially is a comprehensive guide to creating financial freedom. Um, and, you know, it's, it all just applies so much to every area of your life. So what would you say out of all of these exercises was your number one if, if people, you know, are the people that are on this that are, are watching and saying, okay, what is one thing that I can action today? One thing you can action today, you could literally ignore everything else. And if you just do this one thing, and by the way, this will help you lose weight and be healthy too. So it's okay. learning to value yourself. And the exercise is this before bed every night, write down three things that you value about yourself or that you love about yourself and, or a combination of these things three things that three ways that you added value to the world that day. And as you watch yourself, as you pay attention to the way that you add value in the world, you will begin to add more value in the world. And as a result, you'll make more money and you'll feel better about yourself, which will help you make healthy choices in relationships and food and all that stuff. So if you just did that one exercise, there would be shifts. See, it all is so interconnected, and it spirals, and yes. it's um, beautiful. And that's really what um, what you have in place in your book, and that's what I loved about it so much. Thanks. And it is really practical advice. Um, and so insightful. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and everybody, go and buy Money, A Love Story by Kate Northup. Yeah, and if you go grab it at moneyalovestory.com, you'll get free access to a course I'm teaching called A Course in Having Enough with Marianne Williamson, Barbara Stanny, and Amanda Steinberg, who founded dailywork.com. So when you buy the book, go over to moneyalovestory.com, type in your info, and you'll get access to that course. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to go sign up. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank Have a good day. Bye.